everything is going to be related with data. When we start with the new life, uh, with uh, our cell phones, with our online systems, with our online banking, online shopping, everything is going to be data. Whenever we do something, we simply leave traces of data. In past, we did not know how data was important, but with the advance of these new technologies and new algorithms and the way of new looking at these things, now we realize that data is so much important for our future because it is changing. It is very much similar to the industrialization. It is very much similar to the invention of modern techniques in agriculture, like we have the tractor. Any technology can be used for good purposes or bad purposes. If you're just using data for oppressing people, then obviously it is not a good thing. But if you're using data to cure cancer, if you're using data to improve our lives, then it's evidently it, it's something good that's happening. And if that data is being collected then, and used for these purposes, it is going to be helping us. Uh, in the past, we were doing agriculture by hand. What happened is we, we simply discovered machines and we started doing agriculture with, with tractors. Today, things are changing and, and the way we are watching movies are changing. Before you watch a movie, what you do is you simply go to a website and check how many people like that movie. And you make your decisions based on that. It's a lot different than before because your decisions are informed this time. Probably 60 to 70 percent of the current jobs will be transforming into smart jobs. Which job would you like to work in? The traditional one or a smart one with more income, more openness to the whole uh, world and competitiveness, uh, being in other markets, finding new jobs or projects all around the world. Is that better? or you would like to continue with the old ways. Change has always happened, and we always survived the change by transforming, adopting itself or ourselves. Basically, one of our strengths is our adaptability. If you simply look at the history of humankind, we are so successful because we are adaptable. In the past, we had statistical methods. We were measuring something, but it's also looking for more modern techniques like neural networks, learning from the data, understanding all these grift relationships between variables that are not possible to extract using statistical, at least traditional statistical methods. With these new things, we are going to be able to predict what is happening in the financial world, what's going to be happening with the, uh, let's say, currency uh, next month, next year, what is going to happen with the rents, what is going to happen with the job market, that includes weather, and that includes actually uh, how will uh, some certain sicknesses uh, change and evolve with time, and their cure, all these kind of things are not possible to analyze using statistical methods. So what Fuse Machines is trying to do here is, including those algorithms, machine learning techniques, uh, neural networks, and artificial intelligence into curriculum, so that people here also use the same techniques that are being used currently everywhere in the world.